Hello, this is Little Crow Belzer, and welcome to Belzer's Strategic Arcana. So let's make a two-man multiplayer match. First, Bite Nibble Chop with the Lion of Afgras. Scenario comes with uh, Empires and Turmoil DLC for Strategic Man World War One. Let's go. I'm playing uh, the German side. He's playing in Taunt. Uh, probably about 95% of all my soldiers are, are, are Africans. Uh, and we are all Africans here. <clears throat> That's what Paul Bond little Vorbeck said. Let's go. It's going to be episode 11. I'm not sure the date is going to be 1st of October, very end of September. That's my first uh, multiplayer playthrough with the Germans. Now, I did something different than uh, let strategy guys suggest going towards uh, Portugal. I probably could have, but it's too late now, so we're going to, we're going to try to break into uh, the Uganda and the Belgian Congo. Uh, we're, we're trying to break loose from the British. Uh, we're going to head west around Ujiji. We're going to see, we got to see what the Belgians do right now. Let's watch. It's a hot pursuit. Well, there wasn't much I could do with that artillery. I guess I could have disbanded it. I probably should have. That guy's out of supply. <clears throat> we got to find the Belgians. Now, this is this is the deal. <clears throat> well, we'll, we're going to look. Oh, I, I'm going to. Okay, they but they had they, they had lure no other boats on the lake. Well, then why how, how can we have amphibious capability? I don't want to argue about it. There's there are steamers. They could have they could have rowed up there. They could have pulled. Other boats. Loss of a moral girl reduces German fighter fighting spirit. Yeah. Well, it was extremely expensive. I was considering landing here. The goats and yeah, there was other. I'm sure there was other boats. They're just not military steamers but I, I don't want to argue now this he's not in Kigali uh, it looks like he forced March to here this guy he moved uh, we gotta find him Certainly could crush him, but we're not going that way. Hmm. How much is it going to cost to rail you to GG? We're not even there. We gotta clear this. Okay. We could do Singe 48. And I do get two units too. How much for you? I don't think so. I don't think we need to do that. I want to pursue them up here. Uh, I wonder if you pulled out the Blanca. I could don't know. I could rail. How much does it cost to rail one of these? Not 48 and 25. Yeah. He still hasn't combined yet, but he's going to get me an advice. I mean, I could just jump on him here. Oh, I don't know. This is a dilemma. Mm. So he's still man he's still maintaining a presence there. What about Cabrera? Uh, let's see. 
need that Calvary. It's not there. This is a slow guy. supply. No need to do anything. I have to see. All right. Can't command. That's fine. We we'll see where our supply is. Um, He didn't force march in here, but I bet you he force marched in here. Don't know. Could he have? Where's the other British units? Probably here. It was three. Go ahead and kill this thing now. Just get out over here.
let's take Goma. Go in and invasion. <clears throat> Yep, Amphibious was very expensive. It was loud. I could see it happening. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to defend us. Uh, take it away. Well, then it takes away from any other. I, I was squeezed like a lemon. <laughs> now I'm a coconut. The squeeze was squeezed. Oh, I should have. Okay, let's just dig. His supply is crap. Let's dig here. And uh, I am curious about his supply, so let's find out. Oh, let's hit him. Let's hide three. Not much better than ours, is it? Well, 
let's fall back to Baraka. No, October 1st, huh? Yeah, because we're going to the so-called fall and winter. It's equatorial Africa. I don't know how much fall and winter there is. It uh, should be. I think he's getting rain over here. Um, yeah, so the weather is going to, I think, can't remember now, but I do believe the weather. Is he getting rain over here? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it'll start progressively getting worse and turn this place to snot, which means his pursuit. And we're here. We could always, if we had to sling back, I spent a lot of money to get this army here, but if we can invade Uganda, we get to, if we can get into this industrial center, he might have something spawn here. He probably can get in here, uh, but he's got to run. He's going to fall back in here. Oh, boy. This guy is going to have to run. I'll fall back on him. These guys, yeah. As long as I keep this quarter open, even not. Yeah, 84. British at 79. Belgians at 94. Portuguese at 110. They're going to be tough. So we just got to stay away from the Portuguese. Usually it's the other way around. You want to close with the Portuguese? <laughs> well, I mean, there's all this undiscovered country, right, to grab. <clears throat> but I knew that, I, I just knew that uh, it was going to be covered well. I might nibble chomp. I didn't know if he was expecting something like this, so we're going to lose the rail line. We'll try to hold, well, at least we can hold out here. This is wide open territory. That's good and bad. Uh, it is good and bad. Anyway, well. Presence of the goats to disrupt shipping in Albertville again. Never, I guess I won't find out if there was anything in Albertville when I could have went down here and landed there, maybe. See, we only got 130 MPP, but we captured Goma, which is a hellhole. It's in one of the most beautiful places in the world, but just go Google Goma and its history. Uh, so you didn't have anything there. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens next turn. Again, I gotta risk it all. I gotta throw it all. See if I can crush him up in the north, in the far north, away from his main sources of, well, the bulk of his armies anyway. All right. Well, this is Ogro Belzer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the virtual battlefields. I am gone.